Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm just making a quick follow-up video on this worn out gear here. This is the gear you saw in my previous video and that's because all the shavings coming off this gear looked like I was panning for gold in that container. I've received so many questions asking me why this gear failed and that's what I will show you in this video. So this is the container that I had in the previous video and these are all shavings from the gears I mentioned. Now this gear here came out of an MTD snowblower gear box for the augers right here. This is another one just like it and I'm going to split this open and show you exactly why this gear failed. So once you remove all the bolts here you can separate the covers and immediately you can see why this happened. Now the gear inside the gearbox here probably would have ended up with the same fate as this one here. And the reason for that is if you don't add any grease to these gearboxes, the grease will actually stick on the sides of these two cases of the side covers. This one here has had some grease added to it a bit, I can tell. But normally when I take these apart, the grease is totally stuck on the sides and there's no grease on the gear here. Like I'm talking no grease at all. It's just basically metal on metal with the other worm gear that joins it. And once there's no grease on that gear, it's going to turn out to be like this in no time. So it's very important that you use some kind of contraption to add some grease. You can buy a needle injector that goes right on your grease gun. You just shove it in the small hole here when it's all together and squirt some grease in there. Also, if you don't have that, you can buy some grease or take this off of a gear oil container and you can squirt some grease in here as well. You can also use a big syringe and just squeeze it in there. And then all you have to do is put this little cover back on. Also what you could do here is drill and tap a hole to put a grease fitting. And the grease that you should be using in here is zero zero grease or shell Alvania. I know there's been a shortage of that grease right now. So what I've ended up using is CV boot grease. Sometimes I add a bit of gear oil to the grease and mix it all in so it's more fluid. You don't want to use a wheel bearing grease because it's not fluid. It's just going to stick on the sides. And before you know it, your gear will have no grease on it. You need a grease that kind of works its way down and swooshes around when the gear is turning. Here's another set of covers I found in my spare parts and this is also a classic example. Look at all the grease stuck on the sides. Same here. So just imagine the gears in here, the worm gear is connecting to the gear right here. You can see that none of the grease is getting on this gear right here. It will get on the worm gear that goes in here and spins it but it will wear out a bit as well. But this gear will always, always wear out first. So by adding grease, as I mentioned, you're actually coating all the gears inside the gearbox. So that's why this gear failed, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below. I hope my video has answered all your questions. Have a good day.